In today's video, I'm showing you how you can use the Xbox Series S or Series X to stream to your PC with no capture card, to stream to Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook using Streamlabs OBS. You don't also need no chat link cable. This works with audio and game audio. So if you're playing first person shooters and you want those hot mics, or you want to be able to communicate with your teammates and your stream to be able to hear them, I got you covered there as well. And we're going to use a second monitor just so you guys know, so you can actually play the Xbox through that monitor. So you you have the best quality while you're playing and no controller latency issues or anything like that so with that being said let's hop right into the video and show you how to do it all let's go the very first thing you're going to do is come to your settings on your xbox itself you're going to go to device and connections you're simply going to go to remote features hit a on there and you want to make sure this is enabled once you enable this it's automatically going to do a test to see if your xbox is capable if it has enough speed and all that it should if you have the xbox and the pc pretty close to each other you want them that close anyways because like i said we're going to be using a second monitor to actually play on the xbox itself once it runs this test you'll see it's going to tell me i have a couple errors i'm not worrying about them hit next you're going to close and you just simply want to make sure your sleep mode is on standby you don't want it on energy saver and then you want to xbox at preference i just put it on only profile sign on this xbox console just do that and you'll be set and you'll be good to go all right guys once you get to this menu make sure if you haven't already you are already have an account for Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook set up. If you don't have that set up, go set that up and then come back. The things you're going to need to download to your PC themselves is going to be the Xbox app, not the Xbox Companion app. The Xbox Companion app does not work with Series S and Series X for some reason. That's just what it is. But the Xbox app does just fine. And you also want to make sure you have the Xbox game bar. Majority of PCs already come with this installed. But if you don't know, just come down here to the search bar and just type in Xbox. You'll see where there and I had the Xbox companion app because I was testing it, it doesn't work. So we're just gonna get out of that. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on Xbox. You're gonna open it up. All right, once you have this open, this is simply what you're gonna do. You're gonna come up here to the top. Now, if you don't have your Xbox already connected to this list, go ahead and connect your Xbox. It's just any Xbox underneath your network setting. So if you're wired or wireless, whatever your, uh, your connection name is, just make sure you have it connected and you can click on your Xbox that is connected and then you're good to go. Again, guys, Guys, make sure this these two things are pretty close to each other if you can go wired that is the best bet for each thing the PC and the Xbox just because you won't you'll have more of an upload and a download speed upload is very important because we're gonna be uploading video to uh, stream for Facebook YouTube or Twitch once you have your Xbox connected you're simply gonna click on Xbox this is gonna immediately bring up this screen which you see right here and we're gonna it's gonna connect us to our Xbox and you'll see what I see which is where we were just at in the features themselves. Once you're here, it's simply as easy as going to a game, right? So we're gonna go to Warzone and we're gonna open it up. Now this time, guys, if you have your second monitor, like I said, we wanna have our monitor that's hooked up directly to our Xbox. Go ahead and have that powered on, ready to go, because you're again gonna play the game through this. You're only going to use your PC to stream through. Please understand that. You're gonna have better quality using your own uh, set up for your monitor and stuff versus using a stream quality you're looking at because there will be latency issues there will be every now and then a little lag or something like that these things are common because you're streaming a stream okay this is going to happen from here what we want to do is get our audio issues under control and go ahead and have that set up that way we can hear game chat you have your mic set up and everything so what you want to do is we're going to minimize this so we're just going to come uh toggle here and then we're gonna actually we'll just toggle the full screen well if you minimize this for some reason on your pc this will have an effect on the game so you need to bring this up in the background keep it pinned in the background when you have streamlabs obs over the top of it just so you don't have no issues from here you can come down here to the bottom or you go to your search bar if you don't have it pinned uh type in xbox game bar or just type in game bar it ought to just come up right here you're gonna click on it and you're gonna bring uh, open up game bar. Once you have game bar opened at the top right here, as you can see, um, we're gonna make sure we have audio selected. Once you have audio, you'll see the little sources I have collected and have up for my for my use is you have your audio right here, right? We wanna make sure our default is set to whatever your PC is. I'm using voice meter. That is a different video for a different day. If you wanna see that, it just gives you more control over all your audio issues, uh, not issues, but audio sources and stuff. But I'm using voice meter. If you're 
you're not using voice meter, just use default your systems. Make sure your system is de uh, default and all that good stuff and you should be good there. Once you have that set up, you wanna make sure you have your sources down here where it's gonna go to, right? Mine is Stream, Streamlabs OBS. I have Streamlabs OBS running. It's gonna run in the background. And then so this is gonna capture your game capture, your audio for your voice, your voice capture. So your game chat, party chat, whatever kind of chat you're using, it's gonna capture all that as well. Now, when you, with your voice, you do have to use a USB mic. Unfortunately, that's just how it's gonna work with this. They are super cheap. I'll post a really good cheap one from Razer down low for 50 bucks or I'll, and I'll also post this one and you can just pick one or if you want a cheaper mic, I'll even throw a, you know, a $30 mic I can find in there too as well. But you just need a USB mic. Once you have it connected, you'll just go down here to your default and then click whatever mic you're using. I'm using this Rode, which you see it moving up and down. Therefore, you know I have audio going in there right there the next thing you're gonna do after you're doing all this and you have everything set up and everything is you want to download Streamlabs OBS open it okay once you open it we'll go in and go from there all right guys once you download Streamlabs OBS the very first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open it and then you're gonna go down to the bottom left where it says settings a little gear icon click on it and then you're gonna go to stream the second one under general and this is where your stream destinations are for your Facebook for your YouTube for your twitch I was gonna make individual Individual videos about this but I thought I'm not gonna waste you guys times so it's super simple it's just one different step for them all is just to link in with whatever you want to connect you cannot do multiple sources at once through this unless you pay for the prime there are pros and cons to that maybe that would be a video for another day but for right now we're just talking about this once you connect to this you twitch we're gonna use twitch for me or if you YouTube or Facebook whatever you do it's all gonna be the same from here just click on done once you click on done the very next thing you have to do is like this video if this video gets 50 likes I'm gonna do a separate video on settings the best settings to have and I'm gonna show you guys how to get free overlays for your stream and also make sure you sub because we're pushing to a thousand subs the very next thing you're gonna do is you need to do a screen screen capture okay like this up here so what you're gonna do is come right here source you hit the plus and you're gonna simply come to screen capture simple enough right it's pretty self-explanatory and then you're going to click on add source I'm gonna name this because I already have one we're gonna name it Xbox because that's what the source where you know this is what we want to capture is the Xbox in the background and then we're gonna bring it up future yourself here totally messed up so when you get to the point where you add your screen capture and you're right here and you need to pick out what you do if you have you're running a dual setup like me a dual p uh monitor setup you simply just click on the screen that you have the xbox on and it'll come up and you're good to go but there's a lot of y'all that are probably running a single laptop monitor or whatever you would come down here to capture window and you would just click on capture window and hit done now what you don't notice is sometimes what will happen is you'll get a black screen like this so what you need to do is you would just come up here to the top and you would just hit the so you have the three buttons right here you're in full screen you would just need to come up here right here and hit toggle full screen. Once you screen capture Xbox again, you can see that now it is showing and all you have to do is come back over here and toggle back to full screen and you're good to go. Do not minimize it again, of course, because if you minimize it, it's gonna mess up in the background. So all you need to do is just pretty much just keep OBS over the top of it and keep it up in the background and then you are good to go. If your screen, so if your screen is like this and it's not centered like it's supposed to be, pretend this is your Xbox screen, of course, all you need to do is you hit right click, come down to transform and then just fit to screen and boom, there you go. It'll be there, it'll be nice and tight and good to go there and you should have your Xbox in the background and all that good stuff. So the way we're gonna add a camera is, is we're gonna come right here to plus Okay. Now, if you're using a USB or you're, anything USB pretty much is just gonna video capture device. All right, add source. And then you're gonna name it whatever you wanna name it. And then you would add source. I'm not going to, cause I've already got one added. I'm gonna show you guys here in a second. And then, you know, you'll just hit add source. Once you hit, well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys actually, cause I want y'all to understand, uh, see something real quick. We'll just leave it, leave it a uh, capture device, add source. It's gonna come up and then you will just come right here to device, pick on whatever camera you wanna use. We're using, uh, have an app I'm using. So we'll use it like that. And then instead of default, we want to go custom that way we make sure we get the 1080 and uh, you know we can do whatever with it okay so make sure you do all that all right 
So you're here, right? And then you have your, you see your game, but you don't see the camera. It's not up. You, you, you know, you added it. it says camera right there, but it don't have it. The, what you have to do is treat these sources right here. I know I have a bunch of them because it is for the video and stuff, but you, these are layers. So what you just need to make sure you do is you have your Xbox at the bottom. Okay. You want your cam to sit over your Xbox layer. It's like layers. So whatever layers at the top will be over at the top of the layers. So if I were to click on Xbox to bring it up right now, whatever one is actually connected oh, okay and close the screen capture that's why <laughs> and close the screen capture it's gonna pop up see screen capture was over my xbox layers that's why this is dominating everything else i can pull this to the bottom and then the xbox will uh dominate everything as you can see right there and if i just hit the eyeball to bring this back up once you do this we're gonna just simply test the audio that way you can see if it works or not all right guys so i just have this up real quick so you can hear the audio it's coming through right here i have a desktop audio label just so it's easier for you guys that don't have a voice meter that's probably what it's gonna say desktop default or something like that that's where your audio is gonna come through you can have your meter this is your slide meter you just slide this wherever you want it and you're good to go this again will have your game chat and all that so your players teammates hot mics all that is gonna come through here so just make sure you have a good balance and your teammates have decent mics not this stuff where it's like, no no we don't need that okay we just need some decent mics please for the love of god they're not that expensive anymore please go away let me sleep for the love of god once you do that, you're simply at this point, you just imagine your Xbox gameplay is up. Don't worry about my background because this is just for the video. You simply just gonna come down here and you're gonna hit live. Once you hit live, you'll see your stream into Twitch or YouTube or Facebook, whatever you have, you logged in through. And then you will do, you would name your title, whatever you want. Pro tip, don't just play, don't put just playing Warzone. No one cares. They don't know who you are. Put something interesting. Put something that's gonna bring someone to your stream. I'm doing the one chip challenge at so many viewers. If you put that, people are gonna probably come because they wanna see you suffer. People love to see people suffer for some reason. I ought to know I'm one of them. And then you're just simply gonna, once you do that, we'll just put one chip challenge for kicks and giggles and all my viewers will be like, what? You're doing the one chip challenge? You know, my three viewers I have anyways. Uh, we don't care about it because we're actually not gonna go live. And then here you'll just put what Whatever your Twitch category is, just so say it's Fortnite, you type in Fortnite and you would click on it. And then right here is tags, whatever tag you want to use, streaming, Warzone, whatever, you just put a tag in there and then you're good to go. If another pro tip, if you have a Twitter account, go ahead and link your Twitter account up to this point right here. This is just another way to get your, every time you go live, it's going to send a tweet out saying you're live and it's going to give them your title and everything else. And it just maybe helps people. And especially if you have friends and stuff that can retweet your tweets for you, help you get a faster following base. Once you hit that, you are good to go and you would just simply hit confirm and go live. Let's finish with my final thoughts on this setup. All right, guys, so my final thought on this setup is it is a nice way to start out. Guys, listen, this is not going to be perfect quality. You're not going to have the best looking stream out there. Majority of your audience is on phone anyway, so it's not going to be like they're going to really be able to tell. And you're, if you're just starting out, more than likely you'll have one or two or three friends watching you at best. Build an audience. Once you build that audience, then you can upgrade to other things. Quality on this thing, it's not bad. It's like 720. Every now and again, because you are streaming a stream and you have your Xbox streaming to your PC, I have ran into the issue where I just been randomly kicked out of certain games playing Game Pass with Xbox Game Cloud. That's a different beast in itself because then I'm streaming a stream in a stream. So just be careful if you're trying to do that with Xbox Game Bar and doing stream cloud or cloud streaming, excuse me. With all that being said though, get an audience built and then you can upgrade to something like a capture card. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out this video right here. This capture card does a pass through of 1440 by 120 and it's cheaper than the HD60 by Elgato. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.